astonishing. You won't believe this. 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 and a half degrees centigrade in Antarctica, the northern tip. Antarctica reached record temperatures and is hotter now than Los Angeles and Orlando. Several climate models are now predicting a nightmare scenario previously not anticipated by scientists. This is by Elias Murat Mein Unleashed. Well, you can understand that with temperatures like this, it's a matter of months, maybe years, before all this starts melting there. Now, this is according to the UN Weather Agency. 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18.3 degrees Celsius. An Argentine research base on the northern tip of Antarctica has reached that. That means that the once frosty continent of Antarctica was hotter than it was on Friday at noon in sunny Los Angeles, California and Orlando, Florida, where the famously, famous uh, temperature cities uh, reached 63 degrees Fahrenheit. If confirmed, the temperature would be the warmest ever recorded in history there. According to World Meteorological Organization spokesperson Claire Newless, the Esperanza base recorded 64.9 degrees Fahrenheit or 18.3 degrees Celsius. They must have been walking around with, with nothing. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, you walk around with your, uh, what, with a short sleeve shirt. This is what happened on Thursday, topping a former all-time record of 63.5 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 17.5 degrees Celsius, in March of 2015. This is unbelievable. The UN agency's committee has referred to the temperature as a likely record, but will now examine its weather and climate archives to verify whether the, re the reading does officially mount to a new record. Now, the uh, WMO Weather and Climate Extremes Rapporteur Randy Randall Cervani said, Everything that we have seen thus far indicates a likely legitimate record but we will, of course, begin a formal evaluation of the record once we have fully, uh, full data from the Argentine Weather Service, SMN, and on the meteorological conditions surrounding this event. Cerveni added that it could be as all, a result of a foreign event over the area or a hot wind coming down a slope or a mountain. James Renwick, climate scientist at Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand, said, to have a new record set that quickly is surprising, but who knows how long it will last, possibly not that long at all. Washington Post reported that uh, Antarctica is one of the globe's fastest warming regions, with temperatures rising by 5 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 2.8 degrees Celsius, over the last half century, sending 87% of the Antarctic Peninsula's West Coast glaciers into historically unprecedented retreat. The retreat has also accelerated over the past 12 years, according to WNO. Well, the West Coast is where we have volcanoes as well. Antarctica has over 100 volcanoes. And on the West Coast, we have some that are active. Now, the new record has been, uh, even new ones are forming. They have been found the new re on the West Coast. The new record has been announced as several climate models have suddenly predicted that the world could warm by a swell turning 9 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 5 degrees Celsius by the year 2100, that's astonishingly too much, fulfilling a nightmare scenario that had previously not been anticipated by scientists. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.